Hello, one and all, and welcome back to Let's Play Diddy Kong Racing. I am the Max Few Trades. In the last part, we went back to every single world and did the trophy race of every single world, and we got all of the trophies. So that's pretty well and great. However, there's still but one more thing to do before we go off and race against the evil whiz pig and all of his nefarious nefarious necessities. And that is the assortment of minigames that you find in each world. There's one in each world specifically, and you need to defeat all of them in order to get the four pieces of the TT amulet. So I figure, hey, what better character to play as than TT himself in order to get the pieces of his own gosh darn amulet? Should work out pretty great. First challenge is Fire Mountain. The first player to hatch three eggs wins. So you gotta swoop on down, you gotta grab yourself some eggs, then you gotta swoop back up, and then you gotta put them inside the thing, and then hopefully they'll hatch. However, alternatively, okay, that, forgot that, forgot who I was playing as. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, so, but the thing is, you can actually fly over and steal your opponent's eggs. You can baby nap, much like how Diddy Kong very clearly attempted to do. It did not work out in his favor. That's good for me, though. Okay, and then I got shot, and now someone's gonna go off and steal my egg. That's most unfortunate. I guess I'll just run on over here and steal Timber's egg. As that is the way I do. All right, so, so far, nobody has managed to successfully steal any of my of my little itty-bitty babbies. What kind of eggs these are, I'm not entirely certain. I can only assume they are some form of dinosaur. That stands for reason, I believe. Is anyone going to be making an attempt to actually no, okay. They made absolutely no attempt <laughs> to stopping me. Generally, that challenge is actually a whole lot harder than it normally is. Uh, all right, well, whatever. Bequeath me a prize, genie man. You won first prize. Yay, give me the thing. It's so shiny and sparkly. bum ba -da bum you have a piece of the TT amulet. You've got three more to collect. So get to it, you nerd. Okay, so that went much better than I thought it would. <laughs> I was expecting at least a small amount of resistance, but I guess the AI just decided to completely wet the bed on that front. But also, in other words, look how fast this dude is! My goodness. Way too dang fast, TT. Way too dang fast. Also, you have the exact same nickname as my elder sister, and that's really kind of really weird and odd for me. So I'd prefer if you stopped doing that. I really should just be referring to you as TikTok on the clock till the party don't stop. But that's a really a ridiculously long name. But it is his full name, let there be no doubt. I, I have authority on these matters. Also, really good steering and acceleration. There's nothing to TikTok... TikTok on the clock until the party don't stop. Can't do. Anyway, icicle, icicle pyramid. It's basically just a battle gauntlet. All you gotta do is murder the ever-loving hell out of everybody and make them lose all of their bananas. Much like how I just straight up annihilated Timber there for a second. Most unfortunate. All right, let's grab ourselves some more of that stuff. Then we'll sneaky sneak our way around. We could be looking at the mini map, figuring out where these peeps be. Where are all these piggity piggity peeps? The peeps! Okay, whoa, whoa, nelly, 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 jelly, jelly, jelly. All right, well, okay. We found Diddy, and we blew him up, and that was very fun. Okay, now what we desperately need is another red balloon so that our onslaught can continue. All right, according to my radar, everybody should be around here somewhere. I guess they're a floor above me. Although Timber appears to be on the bottom floor, the bottom floors, so I just got to annihilate him. I could do that. I could do that. Bazumba. There you go. However, Drumstick appears to be having a real easy time of it all. And there we go. We have just murdered Timber. Most unfortunate. May he rest in peace. His family are going to be really rather upset when they come home and realize that he is no longer with them. Mmm, that's dark. Alright, anyway, he's not actually dead. Merely eliminated! Although, no, seriously. Drumstick, you have full health, and this perturbs me to no end. I must defeat you in vehicle combat. Like so. There we go, shoot you once. Okay, I could have shot you twice. Messed that one up pretty bad. That's okay, that's okay. It's all good. It's all good. In fact, it's a gas. It's 
It's all right. Jump a jack flash. It's a gas, gas, gas. Also, is it just me or is Diddy? You think you're funny? Is Diddy not moving? Because it seems like there's a blue dot on the map that just is doing absolutely nothing. Uh, Diddy? Buddy? Diddy? You okay there, buddy? Oh, uh, yay! He's free! Okay. <laughs> yeah, he most definitely did get stuck, though. So that's pretty funny. And uh, you're still alive! Get that noise out of here. Okay. Take that, physics. Tick tock on the clock till the party don't stop. Don't. Uh, don't play by your rules of gravity and inertia. He does what he so chooses. Or she. Or it. Whatever he identifies as. I don't know. I don't know what a stopwatch would prefer to be referred as. Nor do I entirely care to know. It really makes no difference in the long run. Also, you think you're a funny man. You think you're a funny monkey with your funny monkey things, eh? I bet you think you're the swellest guy this side of the Rio Grande. Well, now what do you think, eh? You look like a fool. I'm crashing into walls. I don't even care. I'm not about to start caring now. So get out of my face, you nerds. I am a sentient watch. Where are my what are my hands even connected to? You won first prize. Damn straight I did. There we go. Now we have half of the amulet. But half an amulet isn't entirely an amulet. Which means it is worthless to us in this state. Alright, now we get out of here! Also, yes, there are, in fact, two TikToks on the clock till the party don't stop. There are two of them. Do not try to, to ponder the, the bizarre implications of this. The exact same thing happens in Diddy Kong Racing DS, where you can both play as Rajtaj and see him on the map, too. Although it goes the extra mile and actually has unique dialogue for it, where he's very deeply confused about what's going on. It's like, how can I help? Me? <laughs> he seems very confused about the proceedings. Which is acceptable, because yes, that is downright very bizarre. You're just minding your own business, being the genie of the island, and all of a sudden, boom! A miniature version of yourself in a go-kart drives up and goes, yo, sup, what it be? That's just weird. Anyway, Darkwater Beach. It's exactly like Ice Skull Temple, Fortress, whatever that place was called. Except this time, we are in boats. That is the difference. Also, wow. Driving this thing is pretty much easy peasy. TikTok, you really are, in fact, overpowered as all get out. Also, somehow that missed. But that didn't. Holy crap, Drumstick is dead. What happened to you, Drumstick? Who did this to you, my friend? Ah. You gotta never bother with the normal missiles. You gotta go with the homing ones. Unless you're, unless you're like a, a crack shot, you ain't ever gonna make those those shots. Anyway, pew! There you go. Now you're not at full health anymore. That's good. Okay. And da da da. -da. And not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Haha! -ha! Trade damage. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're basically on an even footing now, even though I have more health than you. So is the way of the West. Blowing fools up, laying down mines, feeling no remorse for my actions. That's simply what TikTok on the clock till the party don't stop plays at, mister. There we go. All right, that's the end of the Diddy Kong. But now Timber be running around trying to mess up everybody's days. All right, gonna have to pew. Well, let's hope that hits him. It totally did. Dope on a rope on a joke, joke soap. Now we just might be able to do that and everything works out friggin wonderfully once again I reign triumphant upon all <laughs> Rust House really should have been playable in this game he could have just rode in his uh, magic carpet everywhere you wouldn't, first prize. you wouldn't have even had to have programmed him inside any of the hovercrafts or planes or anything just have him use the magic carpet the entire time and have it just be able to not go up and down unless it's specifically an airplane stage. I feel like that would have worked out pretty well. You know, he probably would have been playable. 
had the game had enough time to actually be finished. Because remember when I told you guys the entire, like, story and lore of Diddy Kong Racing? They actually have, like, a full-on cutscene with, like, dialogue explaining all of that in the DS version. So it's all too possible that the DS version, with the exception of having a couple characters taken out and replaced with other characters, is actually, supposedly, the definitive version of what they were really trying to go for. Except for the on-rail shooting segments. Those were just plain weird. At least I assume that's what they were. It's been a long time since I've actually played that version of the game. Maybe I'll play it on my own time afterwards. Because recording DS games are very clearly never on the, op on the, on the docket for me. It's very unfortunate. Do not care for any of it. Either way, last challenge. Smoky it's Smoky Castle. I can only assume it's the exact same Smoky as the dragon. Either way, the first player to get 10 bananas into their thingamabobber is the vi ultimate victor. So don't bother messing around with any of those sucker chumps because they are sucker chumps and not to be eh, noticed. What you gotta do is the name of the game is collecting all sorts of bananas. However, the problem is you can only collect two at a time. I guess to make things fair. Either way, you gotta collect bananas. You gotta go up here. Put them in your banana collection box, like so. Defy physics and gravity again, because that's how you do. The first one to grab all of the bananas, or rather just ten bananas, is the winner. And the winner is good! Drumstick, that was most uncool, bro. Also kind of pointless. All you did was delay the inevitable. Although you guys are starting to actually catch up. Not a fan of that idea. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We'll just deck ourselves out in all manner of missile-based weaponry. There we go, very good, very good. Grab hold of all the bananas. Very carefully, very stealthily, very masterfully. Whoa, what are you doing here? Hi! Okay, luckily he apparently did not have a weapon of any description. So, that really worked out for us in the end. All right, I'm gonna grab this. And I'm also gonna grab this. And there's something you can do. I will be Lord of the Potassium. I will be unstoppable! I will never suffer from cramps or any of those other things that potassium helps prevent or other benefits it may or may not provide. I'm not a health... I'm not a health guy. I don't know these things. At, ask, ask a pedometrist, a, a psychiatrist, a geologist, whatever. Out of the way, nerds! I've got bananas to deliver and victories to be had! And that's how you get things done! Ta-da! And with that, we're gonna have the entire TT Amulet. It all works out fantastically. You won first prize. As if this was a surprise to anyone. You sound so surprised whenever you tell me that. The amulet is complete! Use this to enter the TT door! Well done! Of course, the TT door is not available to us at this moment in time, but... Hey, you know how it'd be. Alright, well, okay, so that means we've got all of the trophies, we've got all the keys, we got all the amulet pieces. For both of the amulets, we've got all of the things. Everything is looking pretty much fine and dandy. All that is left for us is to go and race Whizpig for the first time. We'll still have to race him a second time, but that's besides the point. And you know what? I said I wasn't going to use TT as a racing character, but you know what? I don't even care. The episode's pretty short otherwise, so let's just go, go, do this. I don't know, Wizpig. I am pretty OP. But I shall accept your challenge. This can actually be a really, really tricky race. You have to hit every single zipper properly, or you're not going to be able to do this. Alright. Uh, unless TT is just naturally that much faster than Wispig? Okay, no, he actually got ahead. Okay, but it will not be for long! Yes! Okay. Ugh. Not good. You really do want to try and hit every last one of those zippers. Or you're not going to be able to make it. So this is bad, this is bad. See? Ugh. Even playing as TikTok on the clock, tell the party don't stop, is not making this as curb stompy as it really should be because Wizpig is just that freaking fast. He is kicking those stubby little legs like nobody's business. Vzoosh! Uh, 
being sad. It doesn't matter if you're in first place. Because one screw up in everything. This happens. This is what happens when you mess up, everybody. I feel as if I don't really have much of a chance in fixing this. But I'm going to try anyway. Yeah. Out of the way, Sir Nerdington. Yeah. Kick those stubby legs. Okay, good, good, good. Despite having the ultimate in handicaps. Yeah. Still somehow managed to succeed. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's possible that TT is just that freakingly good at racing. Well, that's no bueno. That's about as unbueno as buenos could ever possibly be. Later, nerds! Yaha! That's how you do things downtown! Give us back our island, you gigantic jerk! Y'all didn't even cast any wizard spells, so where's that even come from? And with a mighty temper tantrum, he just kind of leaves. You know, considering the fact that you're capable of racing as well, I f Oh my god, my twin brother! Reunited! Oh my god! It's been 25 years, DD! Brothers. Reunited after so long. Many tears were shed. Many dance moves were busted. Man, it's weird seeing the geese characters with legs. And then, somehow, literally nobody noticed that Whizpig was just kind of hanging out back there. He's kind of hard to miss. I bet you could smell him from at least three miles away. You sound like King Koopa. Not Bowser, King Koopa. Also, Whizpig is an alien. It's not enough for him to be a gigantic pig and a wizard, but he is also an alien. That's just weird. And then the credits happen! Except here's the thing, the game isn't over. We still have to go after Whizpig. We have, that's right, we gotta go to space. We gotta beat all of his other extra challenges and then we have to beat him in a race again. Only then and only then will the entirety of the Timber Islands be truly safe once and for all. So I'm probably just gonna cut the video here. You guys, it plays the credits again later. We'll just read them and watch them then. Hope you guys had a fantastic time in the next part. We're heading off into the space zone! It's gonna be pretty crazy, I'll see you then.